<laughs> Hello, dear friends. Today, I have been thinking about political intrigue in our tabletop role-playing games. Titles, earning titles, what the difference is between starting off with a title in your character when you come up with the idea of the character versus earning them throughout the game. And what I find fun and maybe not fun. And maybe those are my own experiences. So I want to talk about that. I have played in several games, some of which I've really enjoyed the political intrigue and some of which I have not. I have felt at times like I was being punished for not knowing how to speak to proper levels of nobility or knowing what the difference is between, see, I don't even know what to say, uh, different parts of feudalism, medieval times kind of nobility. Um, and I don't want to be quizzed for that kind of knowledge necessarily. I'm here to play a fantasy role-playing game, but that's not everybody. Some people would really enjoy that kind of gameplay and I want to respect that. I feel a bit hypocritical because I have been saying to GMs, like, I don't want to play a political intrigue style game. And yet, one of my most fun times I've ever had has been playing a character that I played for three years in a homebrew campaign by a great friend of mine. And it was full of potential for political intrigue. There were very interesting people to meet that had a lot of power and they had these no noble titles and you could earn these titles throughout the game, which my character did. I never set out to earn these titles. I just played in this world for long enough and then earned them. I thought that was really amazing. I think having your characters level up, both in terms of gaining XP from traps and situations and encounters or milestones and getting those real level ups is a big deal. But you can also level up through divine favors, magical gifts. Magic items are a big deal, whether you are a high or low magic style campaign. And titles, I think, are something I've been thinking about a lot lately because it was never my magical shield that I thought of first when I thought about Kai Othuk, my character of three years. It was the fact that his full name was Lord General Kai Othuk the Relentless. The Relentless that I earned from playing in an arena or winning an arena battle that was like a big deal at the time. <laughs> or the fact that I had my own manor and my own like people to run it. And we were working on making the community better through outreach and giving food and places to rest um, by having basically like a free in service and all this kind of stuff. And how we had to work with the other nobility of nearby towns in order to not take business away from them with what our manor was doing. It was a whole, like, whole, <laughs> I don't know, whole level, um, what am I trying to say here? It was deep. There was a lot to it that I normally would say I'm not interested in doing, but I was this time. So it's just got me thinking, what do I like and what don't I like about political intrigue? And how much of what I like is what I'm trying to push into my players. Maybe I should open the doors a little bit to the kinds of games that I run and think about what is fun to expose my players to and let them enjoy in terms of different types of nobility and titles. I think there are probably some gender neutral, more modern progressive kinds of ways to do titles and nobility and this political intrigue. Imagine the Fey Court, for example, has some more interesting political intrigue than perhaps historical, real life, maybe problematic things like ladies and lords and those gender gendered terms, I suppose. Um, not every non-binary person can just be a knight, even though it's pretty cool. But the Fate Court could be a fun place to experiment there. Or maybe on the Sword Coast, Waterdeep 
has these masked lords. And I believe ladies can also be lords. It's not really a gender title as far as I'm aware. And it's very secretive and super interesting the way that they hold on to their power in secret. There's a lot of actually genuinely interesting political intrigue in Waterdeep that I actually really like. It kind of breaks the mold. And I like that. What other examples of interesting, newer, maybe gender neutral, queer friendly kind of political intrigue and titles have you seen in other people's games and modules you've seen written or games that you've played in or ran yourself? Would you let me know in the comments down below? I think that'd be really interesting to explore. Maybe have a follow up video on. That's what I have today. I thank you all for watching. And this has been Fatal.